Good evening, Katya. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Sí, Katia Montarraza. Okay, good. How was the weekend? It the week was very good. All right, I'm going to hear that. I'm having trouble with my internet. Give me a second, let me check this. Okay, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, teacher. All right, thank you. Let me see, uh, Reina Eloisa. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine, and you? Great, I'm good, thank you. How was the weekend? Um, tired, uh, but perfect. All right, I'm glad to hear that. And the platform, Reina, how are you doing with that? I'm studying the section Three. Okay. Three. You're in section yeah. three. Okay. Nice. Keep going. Let me see. Roberto Sarceño. Good evening. Oh, Roberto is gone. Oh. Let me see. Hi, Roberto. Okay, let's see, Marta Menjibar, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today, Marta? I was ready. Okay. This, this day is my first day in the work. Oh, really? What happened? It's my new job. Oh, okay. You've got a new job. Okay. All right. That's nice. You had a new start. Was it all right? Yes, yes all right. Okay. I'm glad to hear that. And how was the weekend? It was Okay. All right. That's nice, Martha. Let me see. Reina Costa. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's everything? Uh, very well, thanks. Okay. Nice. How was the weekend? Um, it was quiet. Oh, okay. Did you stay home? Yes. You did. Perfect. And the platform, Reina, have you been working on it? I work in, in session two, two point ten. All right, nice. You're getting close to section three. That's great. Keep going. Let me see. Manuel Alejandro, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's everything? Fine. All good. Great. And how was the weekend, mister? Relax. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, well. oh, I'm going to hear that. In the platform, what section are you in? I'm working uh, section four. You're in section four already. Awesome. You're doing pretty well. Keep going. Okay, let me see. Madeline Melissa, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today, Madeline? Um, I am fine. I am a little tired. Okay, just a little tired. Did you have to work today? Yes. You did, okay. And how about the platform, Madeline? What section are you in? In section 3.6. You're in section 3.6. Excellent. You're doing well. Thank you. Let's see. Um, Ibis Mendes, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's everything? How are you? Um, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. And you? Great. I'm good. Thanks. And how was the weekend? It was great. I got out with my co-worker. Okay, cool. And the platform, Evis, how are you doing with that? Um, I'm still working in section two. You're in section two. Okay. Just remember that this week we have to complete sections two and three, okay? Okay, it's okay. Good. Let's see, Roxana Amaya, good evening. Hello, Roxana. Hello. How are you today? Um, I'm fine. I okay. to work. All right, excellent. How was the weekend? Um, my weekend was started. Oh, it was started? Um, in this Sunday, I went to my parents' house in Ilovasco. Okay. On Sunday, I went to run the Ciclovia Constitution. Oh, it sounds nice. You had a busy weekend. And how about the platform? Roxana, what section are you in? Okay, you're starting section two. Nice. Keep going. Reina Eloisa. Good evening. Good evening, Reina Eloisa. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Uh, I'm fine, but uh, do okay? <laughs> ya estuvo, teacher, ya me presenté, no sé cómo decirlo en inglés. <laughs> oh, ya la había saludado. Sorry, sí, teacher. <laughs> oh, goodness, I thought it was Reina Acosta. Okay, sorry, I got confused. Okay. <laughs> All right, don't worry, that's fine. Thanks for telling me. Let me see who's missing. Lourdes. Lourdes, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Very good. Okay, nice. How was the weekend? Mm, my weekend was very busy. It was busy, okay. Busy. All right, and tell me about the platform, Lourdes. What section are you in? I'm going for section three. Okay, nice. You are in section three already. You're doing pretty well. Okay. Roberto Carlos, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's everything? How are Hello? you? How are you today? Uh, fine. Okay. Uh, fine. Um, Excellent. Very and much. Nice. How was the weekend? Um, my weekend was um, um, in the beach. 
Oh, you spend it at the beach. Nice. Yes. Okay. Awesome. And how about the platform, Roberto? What section are you in? Uh, section one. Okay, you're still in section one. Just remember to com uh, con to continue working. We have to complete sections one, two, and three by this week, okay? Okay. All right, so let's start with today's session. Let me see what we got. Let me share my screen. Okay, so welcome everybody to our second week of classes. And we're going to be completing the rest of the section two and section three. And well, we are going to start by reviewing what we studied last class, which was the questions with the verb be. And here we have an exercise where we have to complete the question by adding the correct form of the verb be, um, is or are. And then we have to complete the answer as well with the correct pronoun and the form of the verb be. For example, number one, how do we complete the question? What is the question? Is, it, is that my pen? We say, is that my pen? And the answer? No. No. It's a pen. It no. is it's not. It is not. Uh huh. Or it isn't my. Oh, it's your right. Your pen. It is not your pen, or it isn't your pen. Okay. Let me select pairs of people to make the questions and the answers. Let me see, um, Roberto Sarceño, you make the question number two, and Reina Eloisa, you answer. Roberto, check your microphone, please. Are those my folders? Are those my folders, the answer? Reina Eloisa? It is not. Um, check it, please. Are oh, those okay. my folders? They, yeah. Okay, they are not. not. Yeah. Very good. They are not. Number three, Roberto Carlos. And the answer would be for Ibis. Are we in the playground? Are we in the playground? Answer, yes, we are in the playground. Very well. Yes, we are in the playground. Number four, Roxana, you make the question. And Marta, you answer. Is, is Peter German? Very good. Is Peter German? Marta, the answer, please. No, he's not German. Okay, next one, Katia. You make the question, and Maritza Padilla, you make the answer. Are Jenny and Sally in their classroom? Okay, are Jenny and Sally in their classroom? Answer, Maritza. Maritza Padilla. Can you give me the answer to this question? Okay, how about Manuel Alejandro? Tell me the answer, please. If it's personally. 
Um, the answer to Good number fun. five. We got our Jenny and Sally in their classroom, yes. Yes, are in the in, are in their classroom. They are in their classrooms. Thank you. They are. Okay, next one, Madeline, you make the question. And let me see, Reina Acosta, you answer. It's missing the it's in the right yeah. in, it's e and I no. say I'm um, number I, six, I, Madeline. Six. Sorry. Oh, okay. Yes. Sorry. Yes. Go ahead. Is it a Pearson Lake? Okay, we say is Mrs. Pearson Lake. So just here, it's Mrs. Is Mrs. Pearson Lake? Okay, the answer, Reina? No. It's a it's a girl. No, no. No, Mr. Person. Late. late. Okay, Mrs. Person is not late or she is not late. Or she isn't late. Very well. Number seven. Let me see. Lourdes, can you make the question? And Melvin Alejandro, you answer. Am I in the right classroom? Okay. In the answer? Yes. Yes, I am in the yes, yes, I am in the right classroom. I am in the right classroom. Or in this case, remember you can also say you are in the right classroom. So it could be any of those. Then number eight, what is the question? Can somebody help me with this? Number eight, anybody? So are, when, are the children nice? Good, are the children nice? And the answer, yes? Yes, they are. They are nice. Number nine is Mrs. Mrs. Peter. Is Mrs. Person the math teacher? No, no, she's not. She is not. She is not, or she isn't. Good. No, she is not the math teacher. Number ten. Are your brother nice? Are your brother or is your brother? Oh, is, is, is your brother? We're only talking about one person, right? Your brother. Is your brother nice? No. He's not. He's not. He's not nice. Okay, very well. There we go. Do we have any questions about the exercise? Any questions? No. no. Okay. All right. Well, let's continue then by talking about today's lesson objective. So by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use the simple present. Today we're going to practice a little bit of the simple present in the affirmative and negative form. So let's start by watching the video on the platform. Let me go there and play it. So everybody pay attention, please. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use Simple Present. Simple present WH questions and statements. What do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. 
Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. I, you, work, take, study, teach, do, go, have. He, she, works, takes, studies, teaches, does, goes, has. Now that you have watched the video, I'm sure you noticed the changes on the verbs when talking on third person singular. For example, we say, I, you work, he, she works, I, you take, he, she takes. This inflection happens only in third person singular affirmative sentences. Also, take note that when we ask any type of questions in simple present, as in this case we're using WH question words, we must use the auxiliary do for I, you, we, they, and thus for he, she, it. When we put everything together, this is how the structure will look like. We have WH question word plus auxiliary plus the subject plus the verb in its base form plus complement plus question mark. Now what I want you to do is to type in a W Okay, so as you see we got some different WH questions such as what do you do, where do you work, where do you go to school, where does Andrea work, what does she do, how does she like it? And we got the different answers. I'm a student and I have a part-time job. I work at a restaurant or I work in a restaurant. I go to the University of Texas. She works at Thomas Cook Travel. She's a guide. She takes people on tours. She loves it. So as you see, the verbs change from the first and second person to the third person. We say, I work, but she works. And here you have some of the changes that happen in the different verbs. Let's practice the pronunciation for them. Everybody repeat, work. 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 Works. Work. Works. 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 Take. Take. Takes. Takes. Study. 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 Teach. 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 Do. 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 Das. Das. Go. Go. Goes. Goes. Have. 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 Has. Okay. Listen. Listen. Have. 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 Okay. Let's practice the third person only. Repeat. Works. Works. Takes. Takes. Studies. Studying. Teaches. Teaches. Does. 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 Go. 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 Go.
goes has has okay now let me explain a couple of things related to the simple present so first of all as you see we have to change the the verbs for the third person and for changing those verbs for he she and it we got some different rules let me tell you about them the general rule says that we add s to the verbs for example in the case of live which becomes lives also we got sit which becomes sits stay stays but we have some different kinds of verbs for example for the verbs ending in s z ch sh or x we add es we got for example miss misses buzz buzzes catch catches wish, wishes, fix, fixes. And then for the verbs ending in consonant plus Y, we change the Y to I and add ES. For example, try, here as you can see, it takes Y, but when we make it third person, we drop the Y, we delete it, and then we add IES instead. The same happens in the case of carry, which becomes carries. And also let me tell you about the exceptions. So this rule for the, for the Y, for the verbs ending in Y, only applies if the word, if the, sorry, the letter that is before the Y is a consonant, as in these cases, we got R before the Y, consonant plus Y. So in that case, we have to change the Y for I, E, S. But if before the Y we have a vowel, as in this case, play, stay, we only add S. So we got the examples, right? Play becomes plays. The only thing I add is S. And stay also becomes stays with only S. Then we also have some different except exceptions for the verb for the verbs go, do, and have. Go becomes goes, do becomes does, and have becomes has. Let's practice pronunciation. Repeat, please. Live lives. Lives lives. lives. It sits. Stay, stay. Stay, stay. Stay, Miss, miss. Miss, miss. Buzz, buzzes. Buzz, buzzes. Buzz, buzz. Buzz. You have to make it vibrate. Buzz, buzzes. Back, 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 back. Okay, catch, catches. Cash, catches. Wish, wishes. Wish, wishes. Fix, fixes. Fix, fixes. Try, tries. Tries, tries. Try, tries. Stray, stray. Carry, carries. Carry, carries. Play, plays. Play, plays. Stay, stays. Stay, stays. Go, goes. Go, goes. Do does. Do, do does. does. Have has. Have has. 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 Okay, so remember that the pronunciation, pronunciation, sorry, it changes, right? So we get lives, sits, stays, misses, buzzes, catches, wishes, fixes tries, carries, plays, stays, goes, 
does and has. And it's very important to pronounce the last, the last sound because that is the difference, right? For example, here, live, lives, lives. The only difference is the last sound. So whenever you're using the third person, you must pronounce well in order to mark that difference. Now let's review the uses of the simple present. We use the simple present tense for repeated or regular actions in the present time period. For example, when we say, I take the train to the office. The train to Berlin leaves every hour. Jan sleeps eight hours every night during the week. So as you see here, we're talking about things that are repeated, things that we regularly do. I take the train to the office. So that might be every day or maybe two times a week, three times a week or something, but it's repeated, right? It keeps going and going. It keeps um, repeating the same action, the same activity. <clears throat> then the same happens in the second example, the train to Berlin leaves every hour. So that is something that normally happens. And the third one is the same situation. Then we got the use number two is for habits. For example, we have, I get up early every day. I get up early every day. Then we have, Carol brushes her teeth twice a day. Carol brushes her teeth twice a day. They travel to their country house every weekend. So those are some habits that people may have, right? Then we got, um, for talking uh, third use, which is for talking about facts. And for example, when we say the president of the USA lives in the White House, a dog has four legs, or we come from Switzerland. Use number four is for things that are always or generally true. As when we say it rains a lot in winter, the Queen of England lives in Buckingham Palace and they speak English at work. Then about the verb conjugation and spelling, remember that we form the present tense using the base form of the infinitive without the two. For example, when we say, I learn English at home, you learn English at home, we learn English at home, or they learn English at home. You see, we use the, the infinitive form of the verb. We do not change it. Um, we do not add S, we do not add ING or anything, just learn. We keep it in the base form. And then and for the third person, we say that in general, we have to add S to the verb. Depending on the kind of verb we are using, remember that we have and the different rules, right? We had S, E, S, or I, S, I, E, S. But um, the, thing, the important thing is to keep into account that we have to change the verb for he, she, and it. So here we say, you learn English at home, but we say he learns English at home, or she learns English at home. It learns English at home. So always keep that in mind. We change the verb for the subjects, he, she, and it. And some examples we get, um, he goes to school every morning. Can somebody help me to read the second one, please? I understand English. Thank you. Next one, can somebody read it? The machine misses the sound and the weather. Good. Next one. Mark, Mark tries very hard. Okay. And then we have? We enjoy, we playing, enjoy playing, playing the piano. piano. We enjoy playing the piano. Good. Okay. So as you see, we use the different forms of the verbs for the third person. He goes. The machine, it, mixes, mark, tries. 
and we keep the infinitive for I understand or we endure. Then let's talk about the negative statements. Remember we have, sí. tell me. Um, a question. Okay, tell me. Always, the rules is always uh, we, we use a verb in I, they, we, uh, we, we use a verb in simple. But mm -hmm. when, when we use uh, she, he, it, on, uh, uh, always, always uh, use verb in simple, no. Mm -hmm. You add S to the verb. Ajá, convertido. Sí, yes, sí. you change it all the time. Yes, whenever oh. you're using the simple present, you always have to change the verbs for he, she, and it. And you oh. keep the base forms for I, you, we, and they. Okay? okay. All right, and then for the negative, remember that we have two different auxiliaries. We got do and does together with the not. So we got does not, which in the in the contracted form is doesn't. And we use that one for he, she, and it. Then we have do not, in the contracted form don't. And that one is for the subjects I, you, we, and they. So we say he doesn't or he does not, she doesn't, she does not. It doesn't, it does not. Or I don't, I do not. You don't, you do not. We don't, we do not. And they don't, they do not. And here I have some example sentences. I don't work here. I don't speak French. He doesn't play the guitar. And she doesn't cook. Can we make some more examples in the negative? Any examples? She is not, she does not. Okay, she does not. Room. Room. Does not run. Good. Okay, can we make another one? Let's use the subject we. We don't study tonight. We don't study at night. At night, okay. We don't study at night, good. All right, so that is how we use the negative. And remember that even though we're using the third person, he, she, or it, we do not change the verb. Here, as you see, we use cook because we are already indicating the third person with the auxiliary, does not, right? Or doesn't. So always keep the verbs in the base form or infinitive. Now it's time to practice. Let me send you to the breakout rooms so you develop some exercises. We are going to work on practice one where you have to write the corresponding forms of the verbs. For example, we say, I work, he, what is the form of work for the third person? He works. 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 How do you spell it? Dance it. How do you spell it? Works. W-O-R-U-S-S. Okay, good. He works. Then we have the second practice. Circle the correct form of the verb. We just have to choose. We got Monica eat or eats eggs. Which one? It's. It, it's. Okay, it. we choose the correct form of the verb depending on the subject. And practice number three is write do not or does not. We got number one, I live in a house. And I. Don't. I don't or do not live in an apartment. Okay.
So that is what you have to do. Let me send you to the breakout rooms and I'm sending you the practice to the WhatsApp group in just a moment. Okay, here we go. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? Lo vamos a convertir todo el video con Git o con Insta. Todos son para Git. ¿Cómo lo comprendieron? Eh, sí, o sea, hay que convertir todos. Ah, ah, sí. Hay que convertir todos los verbos. Vamos a compartir. A convertir, ¿no? O sea, que... Todos a tercera persona. I want to work. I dance y dances. Sí, ¿verdad? I play y play y plays. Okay, thank you. pueden ver ahí. Sí. Bueno, ahorita no. ¿Ven la imagen? Eh, la, sí, la puso. No. no sé, pero ahorita ya no sé. No la veo tampoco. Pero sí la puso al inicio. Sí, sí, sí la sí, puso. Sí, No sé por qué que le hice. Ahora sí. Sí. Ah, bueno. Ok. Entonces, ¿qué hemos puesto? 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 ¿Qué Place. Place. Studies. And number four. 
Number four. That is. Stand. Number five. I wash. Washes. Number six. He goes. 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 Number seven. Does. He does. He drinks. Drinks, I think. Yes, okay. He cooks. Cooks, yes. And he writes. 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 Then he eats. Or chop it. Um, no. Give her bites. Fifty five. I buy or he buys. She's still there. We are. Compartir la otra imagen. Sí. 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 Mónica. Hit. 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 Teddy and Monica cook. Mm. Sí, cook. Cook. Spaghetti. Um, three, make a study. A study English study. every day. A study. A study. A study. Uh, for make it um Jackson work 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 so yeah work see what work five five Angie and three green Six. Lick. 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 Like. 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 Chocolate. Eva, like. Chocolate. Con este al final, ¿verdad? Porque es tercera persona. Sí. Seven. Do thing. Watches. Watches movie. En este caso es Mónica es. Madeline. Hola. La número dos. Es, sorry, es que no le escucho muy bien. Tal vez. Ahora me escucho. Ahora sí. Ahora sí. A ver. Okay. Entonces, la número dos. Ok. Teddy and Monica cook espagueti. Maritza me escucha. Hola, hoy sí. Hoy sí, vaya. Lee la número tres. Maritza. Thank <laughs> you. 
Me escucha. Hola. Bye. Hola. Bueno, la número tres. Nikki Study English Today. Ahora va Madeline. La número cuatro. Mike and Jason work, work in the same office. Angie and I drink coffee all the time. Eva Light Chocolate. Hola, no sé si me escuchan. Sí, sí lo escuchamos. Hola. Sí, le escuchamos. Dos team watch movies. Ahí sería watch o watches. Ok. Watches. Watches, ¿verdad? Dos team watches movies. Yoko play. Ellos, ¿verdad? Sería Tom. Seven. Seven. Mi ocho es Daniel Dassen. Nueve sería I don't. I don't. Sería he doesn't. Así es. ¿En cuál iba? ¿En cuál se quedó? Eh, tuve un pequeño percance por acá, quiero ver. Por las seis. Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill. Don. Sen. Ah, Ay, espérame. Yo tengo Don. <risa> <risa> pues me confundí. No, pero es Parece que sí, porque Jack vamos a ver, son Don. ellos. Es Don. Es Don. Uh -huh. Don porque ya no es uno, son ellos. Okay. Mike Lee Siete Y Dazen Sí, 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 Dazen Daniel Dazen Go to the beach mm -hmm. I don't live in Japan And Fina teacher <laughs> Oh, you're done? Oh, you're done? No, only this. Did you finish? Finish, teacher. Okay, good. Do you have any questions? Any doubts? Um, solo en I am Shopee, ¿verdad que es P-E-S que se iba a agregar en el primer ejercicio? In exercise one, um, shop. shop. Shop only takes S. Shops. Shop. S. Add S. Solo se uh, agregar S. Uh -huh. Only S. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Okay. All right, so we're coming back in just a minute.
All right, welcome back everybody. Did you finish? Finish teacher. Okay. Yes. Good. Do we have any questions, any doubts? Maybe not. Work. Work. Okay, so let's let's check this exercise. We got I work, he works. We had S. I dance, he dances. Dances. What do I add? S E S or I E S? S. S. Okay, next one is I play. He Plays. What do I add? S. S. Only S. Okay. In the case of study, we say I study. He? Students. Studies. Studies. How do you spell studies? S T U I S I E S. Exactly, we add I E S instead of the Y. Then we have I wash, he wash. How do you spell it? W A S H F T S P S. Okay, so we got I wash, he washes. I go, he goes, goes, goes. goes. How do Goes. you spell it? G-O-E-S. G-O-E-S. I do, he, does. Does. It's D-O-E-S. E-S. I drink, he, drinks. How do you spell it? D-R-I-N-Q-S. A-S. Okay, drinks. I cook, he, Cooks. Do I add Cooks. S, E, S, or I, E, S? S. Only S. Only S. I write, he? Writes. How do you spell it? W-R-I-T-E-S. I eat becomes he? Eats. Eats. How do you spell it? E A T S. E A T S. It's. I drive. He drives. Drives. What do I add? S E S or I E S? Only S. A S. A S. In travel, I travel. He. Travel. What do I add? S. S. I shop. He. Shop. Shops. Okay, what do you want? Only oh, yes. Yes, once again. Yes. And in the case of buy, what do we add? Buy. Yes. Only yes. Or buy. Yes. There only yes, because remember that we have a vowel before the Y. So that means we only add S. Okay, let's practice pronunciation before we leave. And let me see everybody repeat, please. Work works. Words works. Dance dances. Dance dance. Play plays. Play plays. Play, play. Study studies. Study studies. Wash washes. Wash washes. Go goes. Go, go. Do does. Do does. Drink drinks. Drink drinks. Cook cooks. Good cooks. Great greats. Great greats. Eat eats. Eat eats. 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 Drive drives. Drive drives. Travel travels. Travel travels. 
Shop shops. Shop shops. Shop. Buy buys. Buy buys. Okay, so this will be all for today's class. Thanks everybody for participating. Have a good night and just remember to com continue working in the platform, please. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bye. Bye.